this bumper fitment. Then uh, decided to move it up from uh, where the location was originally. I'm reusing the uh, bumper and the valance just because uh, I do like the rolled radius and I do like the valance that was already on this truck. Uh, we just didn't like the gap that was in here before. Before there was a light bar on the top of it and then they spaced it to be able to have the light bar below the, the, the grill there. And it was leaving this big like inch and a inch and three quarter gap. So I removed that. I've got it positioned up. I've only got I've got a tube tacked in there right now for the back. I'm gonna do one more up in the middle yet, and um, gonna do some uh, do a skid plate in here. So there's actually gonna be some bent bars, but I need to actually get this thing on its own weight so I can get these jack stands out of the way because uh, those right where that jack stand is is right where I need to be able to be welding uh, so tubes do. So I'm going to get back to this, but figured I'd kind of show you what we got and how it looked like for now, because uh, it's going to be a little bit before I get back to that. And I'm going to end up jumping to a different project now to finish up the spindle and hub setup. Um, a couple different things I'm going to start working on here is, uh, first thing is brakes. So I got the OEM caliper and rotor set up on here now and one of the things I need to do now is come in here and work on a tab um, coming off the back to be able to mount this caliper for both sides so that's what I'm getting ready to uh, you know I just kind of got one set up here now I'm working on that now uh, I'm gonna work on designing the tab and get something cut on the plasma table and then the other thing I'll be working on is uh, spindles um, I'm gonna take this all apart once I get that done and take the spindle, which is inside there, and I got material that showed up to slug those, uh, weld them up, and then drill them from six bolt out to 12 bolt. So yeah, a little look at some progress. Limit straps, got a couple, I gotta weld those on there yet, but they're tacked on and uh, suspension's drooped out. Getting a little further along. Uh, these are gonna be the very last things on pretty much the beam setup we need to get done. And then the beam setup is, yeah, pretty close to being fully done. And we're really down to cage work and putting the thing back together. Um, some electrical stuff and things like that. So we'll get uh, tearing into these brakes and start measuring some stuff and uh, design some tabs up. And get head on over to the plasma table and get them cut out. like that 
we have a brake tab and brake calipers are on both sides. Um, that side's got a tire all on it, um, but they're tacked up, uh, need to disassemble and fully weld that. And I think there's like the, the limit strap I already said, need to fully, no, fully weld. But um, as far as the beam kit, I think that pretty much does it. I've got one um, thing coming up for a future video. That is the um, steering linkage and then the steering all the way from the wheel to the tires is um, set up on this uh, Chevy. So the next, uh, I say, yeah, now we got the bumper fitment. So we got a tire on here. You can kind of see how it looks with uh, a tire on there with the new bumper fitment and not having the uh, the light bar gap, the old setup in there now. So I am uh, pretty happy with that setup and how that tire's looking. That's looking all good. And yeah, so we'll, uh, we got a little bit of moisture um, a little bit of rain coming in, so I think uh, I've been trying to pretty much button up every last little bit on this thing um, as far as the beam kit goes. So there's a little bit of finish weld for this last time that I pull it off, um, but there's a lot of stuff that is already welded, and as soon as I go to pull this stuff off, um, I'm kind of waiting for um, a pretty good sunny day to be painting, and I'm going to try to start getting a bunch of that stuff painted and off, and... Something that we're going to get ready to switch to is um, when I do go to start pulling stuff off, I got material showed up to, I have one for an example, this is a spare off of um, my truck, my C10. This is a Dana 44 spindle, an old one, and it's slug and welded. Um, I think my buddy Dooling welded this one up way back in the day. Adam Dooling, anyone that watches um, and follow his stuff. He welded this up. This is the very first spindle that was on my C10 way back in the day. So speaking of dueling, he gave me a little, uh, oh, maybe not a little big, nice custom made sign for the shop. So I've actually been doing a whole bunch of uh, cleaning and organizing in here. Kind of got all new shock area. Kind of got the machine set up a little different area. You might have uh, seen me sleeping right here. A little bit ago. Everyone wants tips and tricks. So this is a big, this is one of my biggest secrets. Um, if you don't sleep at night, but you just sleep like five, five to ten minute increments here and there, like while you're sitting or while you're standing, like maybe you're looking over here and you're measuring something, and you can just fall asleep here for ten minutes, and you wake up, and then you can go for like five or six more hours. If you do that through the night, it's like time traveling. When everyone wakes up, you get more stuff done than everyone else, so... You just saw a little bit of glimpse of my time traveling right there is all that was. But um, I did end up getting um, a whole bunch of the shop switched around uh, in the process of that video. So I was welding and sleeping there and then I was welding over there and then I was also welding on a stool thing at one point in time there. Um, but pretty much I've, um, I think I've had him in a video at Preston. He's um, been helping me around the shop here, and um, with him, we've been getting some work done, but we've also been um, having two people in this environment, working on the workspace, getting it more and more dialed in, and uh, making upgrades, and one of the things I got is this welding table now, so it's a kind of an old uh, fixture table, um, but a big aluminum top, it's got a bunch of drilling in it, I think at some point, I'm going to take it off here, I'm going to do some modifications to the frame um i think i'm gonna throw this in my mill and do a bunch of drilled grid holes all through it to do like a fixture table um i want to be able to start fixturing um that's a full beam kit right there for this white truck all ready to go kind of waiting on that this is uh you know i've said in some other videos but i'll say it in this one we're waiting to get this thing done um kind of here behind Dune Hippie Machine, this is pretty much priority number one right now. Um, going pretty um, all hands on deck on that. That was pretty much Preston's been on board for a couple weeks now. Um, and kind of pretty much for that. This is uh, getting this thing ready. Getting this thing ready for pre-runner invasion. Um, it's right down the road from uh, my shop here in uh, Michigan. So 
we're planning on having this um, down there and that's kind of a last little push here to get everything last little done and painted and get this all stuff going so um I kind of have been thinking about now that I've been changing up my shop I've been making all sorts of changes so I figured I'd end this little bit of a video with just kind of doing that showing some some little bit about the shop a little bit of things that are a little bit different talking about things a little bit differently um and then yeah that's just kind of some of uh what i plan on doing on this channel a little bit more is maybe getting a little bit more not so much like specific based but just kind of like actually turning this into like a little bit of a vlog the dunes are back open again um with preston being here helping me um we're getting to tuning stuff again um it's kind of i'm starting to realize i just kind of need to start filming and i'll kind of figure out a flow as we go so for now, yeah, I figured I'd just kind of give you a full little tour around the shop. Nice little spin. Um, pretty much this whole area is all different. I swapped my lathe around. I'm still planning on, um, I got to clean this all up. As soon as I spun it around, that thing got showed how messy it was. Um, kind, of, kind of a whole new little fab and weld area over in here now. Uh, making Got a lot more space now for working around this and finishing this thing up. As soon as I get done uh filming this we're gonna get right into the very next video um and that's kind of why i figured i'd end with it this way because this is going to be kind of the next thing i'm actually going to start uh disassembling some of that the spindles working on that um getting the machine stuff been coming along on that on the tabs we're um i think i've said in a video here this is my fixture that's another one there but to uh also drill those things into 12 bolts so We'll get that set up in there in the next video. That's kind of some stuff coming for the Chevy. Um, we went over this one that's waiting. We got some shocks there that are ready for pickup. We did kind of, um, if you've been here for shocks and seen around, got some more organization, got some extra shocks. Those are shocks all done and ready, uh, waiting for pickup, kind of out of the way. Um, yeah, that's just kind of some material stuff. And then um, this area over here, um, the other part of the video, I was welding over here. But now it is um, pretty much primarily just shocks only over here. So really just kind of working on, uh, yeah, like I said, refining the shop, making the process better. Um, and then I'm trying to apply that to everything, making changes. So same thing with this video. So um, something cool, maybe um, shock stuff I'll start getting more into um those are going to be going tomorrow i've been waiting on parts on those um fox internal bypass stuff so i got a machine a groove into a part to uh, get these together i'll go over that got my first set of carbons in here um they're sitting here that's not a good sign that's been sitting there these aren't opened yet and we got oil there we got oil there um we are we um preston was working on the last thing before he took off um today working was uh making a shock wrench to get those carbons open they got a little bit different layout so we just draw stuff up and cut them out on the plasma table and he was working on uh getting some welding practice in at the end of the day so he's got that welded up we got um some like uh let's see actually i got them right over here i can just show them to you instead of trying to explain them to you let's see we've got um here we go what do they call them i forget what they call them it's a little spring pin a little spring pin doohickey we'll put in there um you know something kind of like this i think this is like a king 2.0 uh shock wrench that we cut out and made and uh welded up so got all sorts of stuff like that when you have a um a plasma table and a cnc machine that's kind of how you do it so anyways anyone that uh supports doing hippie machine um the podcast we got a new podcast dropping um similar to this video so if, if you're watching this video there's a podcast that's coming um and then we've got some more guests lined up this chevy here this thing's gonna be on the sand here really soon getting some videos ripping shredding um and then also got them uh lining up a lot more videos as we ramp up. I'm um, going to be a lot more videos on this thing specifically coming out. Um, but like I said, with the dunes open, there's a whole lot of other stuff going on. Lots of cool stuff coming in, projects, 
shock tuning. So yeah, we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace. Thanks for the sign, Dylan. I love it.